And I guarantee to get this drill bit set made in China is probably about, I'm gonna say 25 to $29. What's up guys, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of JDTV Co. And while I got your attention, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, ring the bell for notifications, okay? Mm -hmm. Frank, one thing, that's gotta go center. Thank you, Frank, I appreciate that. Okay? Listen, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. I think I already said, did I just say that? Yeah, you did. I did, but I, went, I did it twice. Because we're doing a big giveaway and you got to be a subscriber to get to win. Wait, Holy wait, shit. Again. Wow. You're not, you're not wearing a uniform today. Where's your Janie Tico shirt? Well, Frankie, it's a Saturday. And you decided to not show up yesterday. Oh, this is When we normally film. Okay? And you didn't give notice. And you didn't put it on a calendar. Yeah, I did give notice. So I had, to, I, had to, I had to get out of bed I, early. I, I had to get out of bed early on a Saturday to do this shit show. I did miss the calendar though. But you'll, you'll like Saturday. Saturdays are nice. Come party with me. Nine to one. It's Frankie's time. Listen, it's Frankie's world. We're all just living in it. <laughs> Nick's not even here. Nick is on some big ex excapade. I think Nick quit. Anyway, we're not going to be here next week. We're going to SEMA. So Frankie's working nine to five all week next week. So get ready. Okay. <laughs> you know, Frankie, the big buzzword in the tool industry today is made in USA. Made in USA. Everybody wants made in USA. Until you show made in USA, then they want to get something else. Case in point, I, I got two things to cover real quick. You know, we, we posted, there's another company, I forget the name of them, Orange Handles, and we, you know, we don't like the company. They make a decent product, but we don't like the company, so we try to push an American-made company like Channel Lock. And people are like, oh my God, Channel Lock's horrible. You gotta sell this company, this company. I'm like, you guys want American-made, and then when we sell you American-made, you want something else. And it's funny because like, this is for the automotive industry, and the orange company does not make the pair. Does not make a pair. Does not make a pair of these, but they do. Okay, the orange company doesn't make a pair of these, and these are hot sellers. This is the uh, oil filter plier with an angle. Keep your knuckles away from getting uh, burnt or skinned. Okay, you ever hear the expression "knuckle buster"? Mm -hmm. Knuckle buster, Frankie. You ever hear the expression "knuckle, knuckle buster"? buster knuckle busting, buster. A bunch of different words. So anyway. This is a great tool and it's $37 and it's on the app website and it's one of our best sellers. I would show you our best seller from Channel Lock, but we don't have any in stock, believe it or not. That's why it's a best seller. The little pliers. We were just ran out. And it's funny, we were at, we were at the, um, we had to put that clip up too. We were at the, went to that, the, the uh, steeplechase race in Far Hills last week. Did you hear, hear this? All right, guys, I'm at the Far Hills horsey race, and this guy walked up to us, and what did he say? I said, thanks for uh, the giveaway, the Jasper giveaway, I want a uh, Milwaukee Impact. Okay, in case you think it's Dix, he's a cop, I can't fix nothing. <laughs> thanks, buddy, appreciate it. No problem, no problem. So, what happened, we, we pull up there right now, it's a big drunk drink fest, there's a thousands and thousands of people there, it's very, very upscale, right? So we pull up, right, and we're unloading my pickup truck, we're all, <clears throat> you know, you have, you have it all catered, bring all your friends. So we're setting up, and this cop walks over. The cop's like seven foot tall. I think I told the story already. And he's like, Jersey discount tool? I'm like, yeah. I thought he had to work my arrest or something like that. And he was like, hey, man, just want to thank you. I won one of your Milwaukee Impacts a couple years, last year, and I, I want to thank you. Then he came back like a little bit later. He shook our hand, too. And he came back, he had a little uh, channel lock. He was like, dude, I don't leave home without it. It's in my pocket every day. So if you're a cop, maybe you want to put a pair of pliers in your pocket. You never know. Maybe you got to, you know, do something with it. I don't know. So, channel lock, great tools, American company, and this set right here is a hundred bucks. Okay, if you bought one pair of pliers from perhaps somebody who comes to your driveway in a tool truck, whether it's made in America or China, or whatever, it might cost you almost as much as this whole set. And this is a very good set. This set has been around for a hundred years. These are the four four sevens. These have stood the test of time. Hang on, yeah, four four seven. I was right. Okay, needle nose. I always have a set. It's been around for 100 years for a reason. Okay? So, yeah, channel lock. And then it comes to drill. I'm watching, I'm watching YouTube yesterday. And I, you know, there's, there's, I'm not going to say who it is. There's a guy and he's talking about these drill bits. And Mako had an exclusive on it for, I don't know how long, a year or so. The hyper steps, whatever the they want to call them, step bits. There's, you know, there's a million names for them. And there, it's funny because, like, this is made by our, our good friends at CanCut. 
family owned business, made in USA, okay? And this is a, a hyper step, step bit of sorts, okay? And they're sitting there comparing theirs to these, saying they ripped us off, they have no right, theirs isn't as good as us. Yours is made in China, okay? The Mako drill bits that are $500 for a set, these are $250, are made in China. These are made in America. And they're like, well, these are lifetime warranty. Let me let you in on a secret. If you break this little bit here, okay, if you overheat it, you snap it, whatever you want to do with it, to replace it is like two bucks, three bucks. So you're telling me it's smart business to spend $500 for a set of drill bits because you're going to have a warranty because you might wear one out or dull it? Come on, guys. Use your heads. Be, be conservative with the money you're spending. You're wasting. You know, it, you know guys, we always get guys that say, do you do, can we do payments? Guys, it's 2023. Save your money. When you see something, buy it. Okay? If you, have a, if you haven't ruined your credit yet, you can have a credit card and you can buy the tool and then make payments on it. If, the, if you don't have a credit card and you're a little frugal with your money, we do a layaway. It's genius. Frank, how's your credit? My credit's good. I got a credit card this summer. Really? Oh, can I put it something? Can I give a little tip in here? Sure, buddy. Go ahead. Um, this, hey, listen, Frank. This is all your show. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Since, uh, since we're doing a little segment on uh, if, you if you see a deal, buy it. Don't leave stuff in your cart because that's not holding a tool. Because you'll try to buy it and then you'll have it in your cart and be like, why is it not sending out? Well, the deal's over. Yeah. Holding it into your cart does not save the tool. Yes. Frankie, tip of the day. If, if you really want that tool and you don't have the money, call the store, do a layaway. Right, Frankie? Absolutely. Genius. And we will save and we'll put it on a shelf with your name on it. We have a layaway shelf. So, yeah, so it's funny because I mean, like, so, okay, somebody came out with an exclusive drill bit, step bit, hyper step, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, there's ways around every patent ever made. And somebody came out with the American-made version. You're going to tell me the Made in China one's better now? Well, I, come on, guys. Are you guys that gullible? Think about it. Frankie, what do you think? If this drill bit set is 259 made in America, right? Yeah. What do you think this drill bit set... No, I'm asking you a serious question. Yeah. What do you think this drill bit set costs to get made in China? Seriously. Like what? Give me a number. Like I want to say ten bucks. No, it'd be more than that. More than that? I'll yeah. Probably be like hundred. It probably would be no, not not that much. I, I mean, that. honestly, guys, and I get stuff made in China, Taiwan, all over the world, all the time. So I know a little bit about stuff, and I guarantee to get this drill bit set made in China is probably about I'm gonna say twenty five to twenty nine dollars. Okay. And if you don't believe it, it doesn't matter because I, I know what stuff costs because I do this. So think about the profit that then, and listen, your distributor's not getting rich. He's making a, a 35 to 40% markup on his tools. Okay, that's all he's making. But corporate is making all the money. Think about that. They're buying a set of drill bits for, I don't know, $40, $45, $50, and charging your distributors that much of a markup. It's insane. And if I, listen, if you're a dealer and you get mad, I don't care. I've been doing this for 39 years. If I hurt your feelings, I totally meant it at this point. So we get a can cup. This is the regular set of drill bits. This is 175. These are the best drill bit you will ever find in your life. This is a great American made product. We love can cut drill bits. They are insane. I, I'm going to see if I look at, look at my, I want to make my own set of drill bits, Frankie. Yeah. I do. Why can't I? Let's do it. Why can't I? You've already been doing everything else. I'm going to SEMA looking for deals. If you're, if you're a manufacturer and you're in SEMA, come find me. I'm bringing my checkbook with me. Oh, yeah. That checkbook's going to be empty by the time. Yeah, true story, Frankie. <laughs> true story. I'm going gambling, too. Oh, what I should boy. do is I should go gambling first and not have double the money I went with. Then I go buy tools. Genius? Genius. 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 Right, Frankie, I'm a thinker, buddy. That's what I do. Game plan. Game plan. Have you seen these? These have been selling briskly. Oh, yeah. We're almost out. Yeah, it's insane. I know. I, I, it's funny. I'm, we had a lot. Yeah. I'm not going to say how many we had. We had a lot. This is all I have left. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, we, we, just, we just did those, what? We started those last week? Yeah. Yeah, one week. Yeah. They sold briskly. But good news, guys. I got more coming. They're on their way. So get ready. 
Listen, this is the wire disconnect tool, similar to the Lyle one, just a little, uh, I think it's a little sexier. And you know what they say in America, right, Frank? What they say in America? Sex cells. Sex cells? Sex cells. Also green cells. Who cells? Green cells. Well, green, sexy. Yeah. So green, green cells, sexy I like cells. Green. You like green? I like green. I like green. I do like green. It's not my favorite. I mean, I like green, but I mean, like, it's funny because, like, the new range in the tool industry is blue. I mean, Channel Lock's been blue for 100 years. But I, I like, I like, I like orange, red. No, I, I do. Like red orange. You don't? I don't like red orange. Really? You like green? Yeah, I like green. I like green. Guys, real quick, if, you, if you're a mechanic, you have an EVAP smoke machine, it's very useful, but sometimes you need adapters to make your life easy. So we have this one here. This is the, uh, the intake snake. You put it in here. Okay. Then you put your EVAP smoke machine in here, and it'll smoke the whole system. And we also did a deal. But I like, I like, I like combos, Frank. I think you need more bang for your buck with a combo, oh, yeah. you know? And this set is real nice. This has all the connectors to go right into your EVAP smoke system. It's got every size known to man, okay? And we did a deal. And normally this, this is normally $100 for this set. So I did a deal, $99.95, and you get the, the smoke, this intake, intake snake free. Intake snake free. Say it five times fast, Frankie. Oh no, intake snake free. In intake snake free. <laughs> so yeah, ninety nine dollars available on the app website, guys. Remember, please, if you go to, if you if you use our app, you need to download the new app. The old app is down. We got a new app. It's way better. Some guys they miss the old app, and I do too. But the problem is the old app would not work with the new phone. When I changed all those new phone operating systems, the app was not compatible, and they were trying to shake us down every week for more money. Did you know that, Frank? No, I did not. They were trying to, they wanted five grand to update it, and it would have only lasted 60 days, or, or 45, every 45 days, I wanted five grand. 45 <laughs> I, days, five yeah, grand. Yeah, I said, guys, wow. there's not that much money. There's not that much money in the tool business. You know what that sounds like? A shakedown. It sounds like a new app. It sounds like it's time for a new it app. Sounds like a new app. So, guys, remember, we live in a global marketplace, the world. It isn't like it used to be. If you find something that's made in USA at a good, fair price, buy it. Made in USA. Made in USA. The China version's 500. The American version's 250. Do the math. Plier sets. Five-piece plier sets, 100 bucks. The, the European version, this set would be significantly more money. Oh yeah, real quick, let me cover Top Don. We've been selling these scanners like ice cream at a music festival. $70, it's a code reader, and also will check your battery. This is a great addition for the shop or your house. I personally have one in my house in case there's a little mishap, like somebody left the lights on in my van the other day and the battery was... I checked my battery, my battery was fine, gave a little, little zip zip charge and she was good to go. 70 bucks for 70 dollars you will not get a better bang for your buck i promise you okay and while you're at it we recently have some of the old milwaukee impacts left and we're doing a deal 199 and if you want you can pick a three ace or a half inch we don't care we have tons of them in the building they need to go i gotta make room i'm going to sema i'm bringing my checkbook i'm gonna get crazy out there Okay, listen, I, I, meet, I'm, I got some really, 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 and I, unfortunately, I can't talk about a lot of this stuff because I don't like to talk about it until it happens, but we have, we have like four or five solid meetings out there with some new things we're going to be doing that has never been done before in the industry because at the end of the day, I am a trendsetter. I keep telling you guys that, but you guys don't listen. I'm not the guy that watches the parade. I'm the guy that is the parade. Yeah. What do you think about that, Frankie? Absolutely. Absolutely. Pry bars, pry bars, that was a JT Co staple. Just saying. I didn't I, say that. I that. kicked off the tool industry, Frankie. I, didn't say that I kicked off the I kicked off the whole I let me tell you something. There, it's a multi billion dollar industry business with these mini pry bars. I guess who started it? I did. Yep. It's crazy. Absolutely. And I went to one of my one of my uh a manufacturer out there and I said, Hey guys, listen, you need to do this and you need to expand on it and do this. And you know what they did? Not listen. And now everybody and their mother, Lang, Mayu, Lyle, 
has been expanding on it insanely. The market is flooded, but you know what? Every day I pack up mini pry bars. Mini pry bar. And listen, I don't sell as many of mine anymore, but at the end of the day, that's fine. We sold a lot of them. Oh, yeah. One guy, me, I sold 7,000 sets of pry bars. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, hey guys, listen, I'm gonna wrap this up. Frankie, listen, I, I might have rambled a little bit, and uh, could you could you blue screen like a JD Tico shirt on me? On me? I can try. I, I, that's not even an American flag, right? What is that? Oh, that's the Italian. The Italian flag. You know why? Because you know what, Frank? What are we? We're Italian. We're Italian. At the end of the day, oh. we're Italian. I should, I should I should I should done the, the old Italian trick today, Frank. Let me show you. Hang on. Oh. I should done this. Today. Oh. Put the horn right there, kid. What do you Perfect. think? Right? Perfect. You know what I'm saying? You, got, you, saw, you know that that's the word of the evil. You get that malike on you, kid. You, you Frankie, <laughs> Frankie, Frankie, you Italian, right? You know about the malik, right? Yeah, I do. You don't want that malik on you, kid. You put this on. This is this is like this is like Superman with kryptonite, kid. He keeps that that, that stuff away from you. Don't get the malik on you. Frankie's got an old school Italian mother. She's crazy. She'll put the malik on you. Oh yeah, I got. Yeah, I got. I got, I got a horn. <laughs> you got a horn? Yeah. Of course you do. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Next week we're gonna be in SEMA. And I don't want to leave you guys without a video. So I came in on a Saturday because Frankie was busy playing, uh, I don't know what he was doing yesterday, playing house, grab ass. Um, I don't know. Were you, were you in school yesterday? What's up? Were you in school yesterday? No. You were off? Yeah. I spent, I spent the whole, I spent the whole, okay. I spent, oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I Are you off on Fridays? What's up? No. No. So you took off Friday to be with your girlfriend? Yep. You could you could have came in and worked half. No, here, Kate, he could have worked half a day yesterday. I have the whole week last week. I had no none of my DTM classes. That's my major. So for that week, I did not have. Frank, to. stop talking because I I, I, spent did, you're, I spent a lovely day with 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 my girlfriend who's in town for just the weekend. I had a lovely weekend. She's probably tired of you. He brought. I'm here Saturday. Hey, listen, I'm here Saturday. He brought her to work today. She's in the office. I walk in. He goes, Kate's here. I'm like like, oh, what am I gonna say? Something bad? I like I like Kate. I'm a Kate fan. Kate's cool. I like Kate. Kate's cool. Is she crocheting? No, no, no. She's not knitting? No. <laughs> I'll be in SEMA. If you see me, come say hi. Like we always say, come for the price, stay for the show. Peace. <laughs>